Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Satan Bey. I'm a high school senior at the North Carolina School of Science and Math, and I like making videos about programming, productivity, books, and a lot of other things. Today's video is going to be about programming and data science. Uh, I'll be talking about my experiences of doing data science basically every day for the last two odd months. I think a little bit more than that, or a little bit less. I'm not 100% sure, but I do data science every day, or at least a lot every week anyways. So the numbers are right. I'll be talking about what I learned, uh, you know, doing good data science projects regularly and what I learned, how you can benefit from what I learned, as well as just what languages are really good for beginners to begin with and why I think learning data science is something that everybody should be trying to do. So I really want to quickly say, stick around to the end of the video or just skip to the end of the video. The chapter link is somewhere in the description. Uh, if you want to learn how you can get started with your own data science journey and the best ways to get started as a beginner. So I started my journey, um, the 66 days of data science about 66 days ago, um, where I decided to focus my journey uh, around learning the Julia programming language and really relearning some key data science concepts. Because I've been doing Python for a really long time now, I think it's been like five years, and I've already had some data and I've already had quite a bit of data science experience with Python. And I wanted to learn a new language and look at data science from a new angle. So I picked Julia, something that a lot of uh, data scientists seem to enjoy using to learn and do some projects with. So I spent my first few days uh, of the 66 days of data science challenge working on learning Julia. You can find some of those videos up on this channel. Something should pop up right about now over here on your screen. Um, and there's also a playlist on my channel if you want to go find that. I then stopped making those videos because making one of those videos every day wasn't super valuable for anyone because there wasn't a lot of progress being made every day and they would make for boring videos. So that's why I decided to make this whole overall encompassing video of my journey. So what I really learned uh, from learning Julia is that one, uh, Julia is a really great language um, and so is Python. I wouldn't say necessarily that I would prefer really using one over the other. Uh, I think doing more scientific things, uh, more scientific simulations uh, makes more sense to me in Julia. It, it just feels more natural in the Julia programming language uh, than doing so in Python. But I still do prefer Python for a lot of things. Uh, for instance, I was doing some web scraping, web, web scraping for a data science project I was doing recently. and I don't really think there are any good libraries out there for Julia just yet. So naturally I just reverted to Python and then with like 15 or 20 lines of Python, I got all the data I needed really quickly and it was a really smooth experience with really nothing coming in the way of my progress. Julia is also a great language for a lot of things. Uh, doing simulations, doing physics simulations, uh, which I did, uh, in Julia was really fun and it was really easy and there were a lot of pre-made tools out there to help and the light and the community around that was really uh, was thriving and I found that to be really enjoyable. So in my opinion, I don't really think it matters what language you would start with, but I definitely suggest that if you are a beginner, start out with Python. Uh, Python's a lot more applicable to fields that are just not data science. You know, you can do a lot of things with Python. You could do um, desktop app development web development, uh, and just a lot of other things. It's a really great introductory programming language. The second thing that I wanted to talk about over my last 60 odd days of data science learning is that being able to do data science and being able to program well, or not even well, just being able to program at all is a really valuable tool to have, especially if you're trying to answer questions that you have with data. For instance, uh, if you play games, I play Valorant. There's a Valorant Pro Tournament series going on right now called the Valorant Champions Tour. And I was looking at some statistics and I wanted to answer the question of who the biggest baiter in North America was. And a baiter, if you don't play uh, like first person shooter video games, is somebody who lets their teammates go in first and then lets their teammates get eliminated and then goes in after all of their teammates have died to try and win the round when they're the only person left alive on their team and basically the entire enemy team is alive. These players are usually not very well liked, but there are a few players that can do it really well, as in they can be that last person alive and still win the situation against three, four, five 
uh, enemies on the other team. So I wanted to answer this question, and I got this and I got, got the statistics um, from a Valorant stats site, web scraped it with Python, and then I made some charts that you can see over here, probably, um, that answered the question of who the biggest baiter in North America was. Um, and that doesn't mean this person was a bad player, but it does mean that they were being left alive in situations like that a lot more than they should have been. Um, and that's what's really cool about data science. You can find questions that you're interested in. You can search for data that'll help you answer that question, make visualizations that'll help you get towards your answer, and then draw conclusions from those visualizations and results that you get. And I think that's something that's super cool to do um, and of course, you always have to make sure uh, that the conclusions you're drawing make sense and that, and you always have to think of other possible explanations for the conclusions that you're drawing. My third and final real conclusion from doing data science every day for 66 days is that there's a ton that you can learn in a short amount of time. Like, I didn't put in a lot of time every day. Some days I put in a lot more time than others. Some days I only put in like five minutes and other days I put in like a few hours when I was working on a project. Um, and I, it doesn't really matter. As long as you put in, you know, 30 to 45 minutes on average across a consistent period of time, uh, consistency really matters, like two months, then there's a lot, of, there's a lot that you can learn. <coughs> there's a lot that you can learn, excuse me. You can learn web scraping, you can learn uh, well, if you're starting as a beginner, you can learn the basics of Python, get started with data science, maybe not the math bits, but you can definitely get started with um, pulling data, analyzing data, making nice looking visualizations, and drawing conclusions from those visualizations, and then experimenting with data sets that you're interested in. Uh, if you're more advanced, then you can learn a lot of new things. You can really specialize in a cool library or looking at neural networks or learning a new subfield of machine learning or learning network or learning how to work with net, network data, sorry, which is something else that I learned how to do over the last uh, few months. I don't remember if it was in my 66 days of data, though. I think that might have been a little bit before or a little bit after I started. Um, but that's besides the point. The point is, if you have time or even if you put in a little bit of time consistently, there's a lot that you can get out of it. And I think that's something that everybody's talked about, at least on the internet for a long time now. But, you know, just again, consistency is key and being consistent at learning something will help you a lot. So if you are a beginner, where can you start? And I have a few recommendations for that. One, start out by learning Python. Uh, there's so many places to do this on the internet. There's like 10 YouTube courses. Um, you can even just go to Code Academy and learn the syntax. <coughs> And I'll also link some resources in the description below. Uh, once you've learned Python, there's a lot of edX courses that really get you started with learning pandas and NumPy and matplotlib, which are like the basics of the Python data science stack. And again, I'll link those edX courses here. Uh, I remember I took some by Microsoft uh, when I was learning data science the first time around five or so years ago. And thirdly, it's just, like I just said a minute ago, be consistent. Being consistent helps a ton. And by being consistent and trying to learn something every day, you'll get to where you need to be probably quicker than you would expect. And you'll end up learning a lot more than you would have expected to. Also, always try to build projects. Think of problems you're interested in. Think of questions that you want to answer using data and go and try to answer those questions. That's really the best way to learn data science. And I think everybody would agree with that. Of course, if you're going to go the more theoretical route and learn the math and stats, you should also definitely do that because that's how you know the conclusions you're drawing actually make sense and can actually be verified. But in the meantime, go find questions you're interested in. Find data that might be related to those questions and try to use that data to answer the questions that you have. Uh, go have fun and I'll see you on the next one. If you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing, leaving a comment or liking the YouTube video just for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to hear my thoughts in the written word, uh, consider subscribing to my newsletter that I send out every two weeks, as well as uh, following my Twitter and joining my Discord server down below. I'll see you all in the next one and have a great day.